I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard brought down the sky, or I should say prevented the Bring Down the Sky DLC and let Balak go. This way, she could save the hostages and prevent Terra Nova from getting destroyed. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's that's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another video. Uh, huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. It is a lot doing an episode a day, uh, but we are at the end of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We only have probably about two more episodes. But before we get into this episode, there's going to be a little bit. I wanted to show you some stuff that I actually uh, didn't show in the last video on Asteroid X57, where Bring Down the DLC, uh, Bring Down the Sky DLC actually takes place. I want to show that in this episode. But we are also finally going to head to Ilos and see what's going on with this conduit that Saren and the Reaper Sovereign are after. So let's jump into it. The first thing that I did not show was this technician kit that can be found here and the body of T. Slodge. The scorching on this victim's hard suit suggests he escaped the burning interior of his vehicle only to be gunned down by his assailants. Yet another uh, one of the engineers that you could have found here on Asteroid X-57, and that is right here on your map. The second spot was this construction camp here, where we can find some fuel tanks. And heading inside, an aid station and station logs. And finally, the last of the three locations that I could have shown, and this one contained a bunch of grenade storage boxes. Actually, the explosives cache that we found about at the previous discovery, which we can go ahead and open our map, and that, my friends, is everything that you could have found on Asteroid X-57. Before we head there, there is the system of Plutus, which we have not actually surveyed yet. Surveying the planet of Mengito there, we can find a deposit of uranium, on Clock Rollis, we were able to survey to find a deposit of Samarium. And we'll head to the planet of Nanuel. This is the planet that Renegade Shepard is actually going to head to for his mission, the Negotiation, which is what happens when you get a high enough Renegade score, taking down a party of Liara and Talizor and Araya. The first spot on our map took us to a crate and some bodies, where we were able to find Matriarch Delanaga writings. Judging by the footprints in the ash, the two mercenaries were facing each other over the crate when they died. Both suffered single gunshot wounds and have a rifle close beside them. And if we check the mercenary, they were carrying a League of One medallion. There's no indication of how or where he found it. At another spot, we were able to find a crashed probe. And at the north end of this planet, we we're able to find a mineral deposit that also has a Thresher Maw outside, which is exactly why we landed on this planet. And just like that, another 2,000 experience. That is why it is worth doing this. For those wondering, that's here on your map. Now, if you are a Paragon Shep and you come here without the Negotiation Renegade quest, uh, it's just going to be a locked facility that you can't go into. There is also, not marked on the map, but there is a thing of mineral actually right below us. After climbing these mountains and getting over here, we will come face to face with yet another Thresher Maw and another 2000 experience. You have to be careful of this Thresher Maw that is over here because it is able to glitch out. And even though you have emptied all of its health, it will still be alive and attacking you. And there we go. It's dead. Another 2,000 experience gains. And that's every location of everything that you can get on the planet Nanuel. Now that that's done, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this episode. We, my friends, have one thing that we can do. We need to head to Ilos. We discovered that the real enemy is not Saren, but a Reaper called Sovereign, a sapient warship of tremendous power. Sovereign is using Saren as a tool to find the conduit, the key to unleashing a new Reaper invasion on the galaxy. So we need to use the Mew Relay to go to Ilos and stop Saren before he uses the conduit to unleash a Reaper invasion on the galaxy. And this is officially the point of no return. Once you go to Ilos, that is it. You are in for the end of the game. It is finally time for us to head to Ilos. This is it, my friends, to the end of the game. 
So we get to the refuge cluster. We're able to see that there are three planets here, including Ilos. And if we examine aged Ton here, we'll find that there are several areas of debris that may be the wreckage of downed Prothean aerostat colonies. Based on the size of the debris field, a population of over 100,000 was likely. So all that's left is to head to Ilos. My friends, this is it. In the golden age of the Protheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard Gs. Let's go ahead and land on Ilos. Shepard, may I speak with you? Oh, Liara, I'm glad you're here. I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything. Paramore 1 trophy done. What a great scene. I forgot how good that scene is. Liara's so hot, dude. I'm sweating. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Yeah, Joker can. Guys, this is it. The final squad selection for the rest of the game. Now, I 
based on the battles that we're going to be facing, I actually wouldn't really take Liara to this. But because we're going to Ilos, a place of Prothean ruins, I do feel like we got to take Liara. And we're actually going to take Liara and Talizora Noraya. Uh, Agaris is an incredibly strong fit as well. However, there's some strategies that I want to employ by AI hacking. And unfortunately, we need Talizora Noraya for that. I'm sorry, Garrus. I love you very much. And we'll be seeing a lot more of you in Mass Effect 2, I promise. Joker. Nice job, my dude. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. And that is what we need to do. Let's get this planet of Ilos up and running. Look at how cool this place is. And of course, we're gonna have some Geth waiting for us. We can hop into the Mako and just finish them off because hey, these guys wanna come at us on foot, feel free, punk asses. Obviously, back in the day, you wouldn't have done this, but who cares now? All right, let's go wrap this up. Hello, Geth losers. Looks like we just have a shock trooper and a regular trooper. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and finish this guy with a melee hit. Are you kidding me? And more drop down. We got armatures to deal with. Let's do it, my friends. We also have something on the side here, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. We're gonna deal with these armatures first. The best way to do that is to put one into stasis and a big warp from Liara. And a marksman on ourselves. Get the armature almost going down. We're going to go ahead and use Tally, Zora, and Araya to sabotage it. Watch out for these things. Make sure they don't explode on you. One down. Go ahead and put this other one into a stasis as well. And a big warp out of Shepard. Another warp and a sabotage. Hopefully coming out of Tally. It looks like it didn't work. We're going to overload. Get armature getting low. Gonna go ahead and stasis it again. Down it goes. A thousand XP for defeating those. It does look like Tally Zora and Liara are shooting at somebody over here. Another Geth Trooper. And a crate. Let's grab that real quick. Perfect. Now we know we saw other enemies this way. We want to deal with all of the Geth that we can possibly find. It is our last chance to try to go for as high level as possible. We can find a decryption chest here. We know we saw another Geth over in this area. Coming down these stairs, we'll find a Geth Trooper. Who we can take out real quick. Clear. Heading down, we get a jam signal. And it looks like we'll have to deal with some sappers here. We're going to go ahead and singularity them and see if we can... I don't know where Tally's Carnage is. It seems to be gone. Take down that sapper and stasis this one here. Watch out for the stalkers that we see floating around. See if we can get a singularity from Liara out. Both down, only a sapper left. Go ahead and put it into a stasis and finish it off. Nice auto save. Thanks. Look how creepy these statues are. Looks like we have a Geth Trooper trying to take us down in the back there. We said no, buddy. No. Another 139 XP. And we have a locked crate in the back here that we can also decrypt. And continuing this way, we'll actually see that there was something earlier. Look at these things. So creepy. Is this what the Prothean were? 
we have an armature control here that we can actually decrypt, but we're not going to finish off that assault drone. 347 XP. But because we already killed them, I'm actually curious to see if this will give us XP. It does! Cool. So not only were we able to kill them, but we were able to get XP from using that decryption thing as well. But if you use that, if you run down the stairs without fighting the armatures, you'll actually be able to deactivate them uh, without ever fighting them. Which, you know, if you're not into the XP, you don't really care. Level 29 is actually enough for us to get the max bonus in the import to Mass Effect 2. So it's not a huge deal that we don't hit 30. It just kind of ruins my completionist idea. Um, it's not my fault. It's a bug, okay? I love... Ilos, man. One of my favorite planets. It's so creepy. But we have only one way that we can actually go right now, which is to head deeper into this structure here. See what we can find. Look at how creepy. It looks so cool. Like, everything about this area. We get a nice little autosave. I'm pretty sure those autosaves are new. I actually don't remember them in a in the, the previous version of this game. come this way and if we walk up here actually we can actually start shooting at these and I accidentally taking that to the face there we have a destroyer here we're gonna overload and potentially if we're lucky let's go ahead and hack that destroyer destroyer is gonna turn on his own troops Destroyer going down. They're shooting at something else that's over there. We're going to go ahead and grab the secure crate while we're at it. And another Geth Shock Trooper actually waiting for us over here. We're actually going to go ahead and lift this one. And see if we can lift that one as well with Liara. Perfect. Look at how cool this courtyard is. So you could... The way you were actually supposed to go is around here. Um, I don't like doing that just because I think you get a drop on them if you go the courtyard side. And it just feels better to be like, Haha, I tricked you, Geth. There we go. All the shock troopers are down. We come down here. Looks like we have even more. I heard something squeaky. Yeah, zappers. Go ahead and pop barrier here. Put this one into a stasis. Singularity, this one here. See if we can get a Liara singularity on those. Throwing this one into a singularity to wrap it up. That is the last sapper. Goes down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now before heading that way to the elevator, we want to use this way here. And activate this elevator. Which is going to just bring us up to the platform where we killed those shock troopers just a little bit earlier. Which we would want to come up here anyways because there's a crate we can grab. And we just use the elevator and go back where we were. Where we fought those a bunch of those sappers just now. We want to head back there and use that elevator that we saw a little bit in the distance to head to the next area that we can go. The security station. Coming out of here, we are going to have a big fight. These autosaves are actually so generous now. I don't remember these being a thing in Mass Effect 1. So as we approach, immediately our signal is going to get jammed and we'll see that there are some big Geth waiting for us here, including a Geth Destroyer and even beyond that, a Geth Prime. We're going to wait and see if we can actually get Liara to hack this. Uh, Tally to hack this. Liara can't hack. The Prime, unfortunately, can't be hacked. I could have sworn they could be, but I guess we can just sabotage them. I could have sworn with a maxed out. We'd be able to. Go ahead and toss that destroyer away from Tally. Pop shields. Pop barrier on Liara. And pop our shield boost. We're gonna go ahead and stasis this prime.
while we take down the rest of them that are kind of in our faces here. Go ahead and toss that away as both of our party members go down. We'll pop a unity here, get them back up with a barrier on ourselves as well. Trying to do the best we can to keep our team alive. Going to go ahead and Tally, unfortunately, going down right away as well. Go ahead and throw this destroyer away. Using these stairs that are around the area. Try to give ourselves a little bit more of a... Some breathing room here. Tossing this destroyer is going to eliminate him. And putting this prime into a stasis is going to help us eliminate him as well. Big sabotage from tally and a marksman from ourselves and an overload to shut down his shields down goes the geth prime for 2000 experience quite a battle when you get in here but we were able to do it no problem this shock trooper just hanging out and letting us i don't know letting us kill him i guess these stairs here are huge for trying to get through this area they have cover that you can do you can take down the enemies a lot of them won't actually follow you up and if they do if you're playing in adept you can just toss them off and they'll have to come all the way back and by that point you're gonna be doing so much damage to them you could also, while that was happening, you could actually repair these armatures and they will actually fight for you. You can you can uh, repair them. I'll just show you real quick. And they'll get up. They'll actually fight. Yep, kind of cool. We'll go ahead and hack all of these because that's free XP, baby. And that's what we need. And my shepherd's just stuck. Okay, there we go. Now we can move in a weird way. So we got all of the armatures hacked. That's a good, good place. 139 XP each one that you hack. In the very back here, we'll notice that there's a few different areas that we can go into. One that looks like a creepy tunnel. But on the other side here, we can get another hardened crate. And we're going to head up here to see if we can deactivate the security terminal. Look how cool this place is, man. Ugh, so awesome. You can actually come up here. I just, man, I love Ilos. It's just so cool to see every, I love it. And we can only really do one thing here, which is the security panel. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it. Then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on, something's happening. Too late, unable to invading fleets no escape it sounds like some kind of message but i don't recognize the language it is probably in prothean this recording must be fifty thousand years old no wonder we cannot understand it wait a minute you guys can't understand it the message is all broken up but i recognize some of the words it's a warning against the reaper invasion of course between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Well, that doesn't seem great. And now we just got to head back downstairs, use this elevator that we have. We also got 2,000 experience from that. Really wish it was, I don't know, 10,000 would have been great. 
darn armatures. I wish I could destroy you, but I can't. So let's head this way. Look at this creepy tunnel. It's so cool, man. Oh, I love it. You can just feel that this place is haunted, you know? And we'll take this elevator. Huh. This leads right back to where we were. Because we opened the door by using the security panel, so we want to head back and see if we can use the Mako. We've already destroyed everything that's around here. The door that, when we first landed, that Saren shut behind us, should now open. Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. I, ag I agree with you guys. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Liara, for pointing out that we should take the Mako into the creepy underground tunnel. But like, look how cool this place is, man. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Please, try to remember why we're here. Saren, yeah, right. the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. Exactly, Liara's right. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone... Yeah, agreed with that. Something must have gone wrong. And at the end, we fall into the trap. Rocket troopers. But apparently I just can't hit a single one. There we go. And of course we can see that there's still one remaining. That's a little bit down the hill, so we weren't able to hit it. We're able to hit that one though. And that one. So these were all stasis pods, Liara said. Probably. Something went wrong. Obviously the bunker failed to keep them alive. What's that ahead of us? Looks like a force field of some kind. What is happening? It's a trap! Saren must have set an ambush! I do not think Saren is behind this. I don't think so either. So let's head into this door over here. And use yet another elevator. We are about to learn a lot about the Protheans, my friends. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? Whatever we find, be cautious. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it as well. Yeah, I don't think this is a trap. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently. Perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. What are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan. Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. 
The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Whoa! How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. I would argue that uh, those those are one and the same, really. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay. 
one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Uh-oh. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Nice! Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's Master Control Unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's Master Control Unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the Conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. This is so cool! Well, you know me, I want to hear about everything. If the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and usher in the next Reaper invasion. But this time the signal failed. The Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. 
Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. But the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle, working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. So cool. What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons spanned the breadth of our empire. We used them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. You're darn tootin'. So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. Now, they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. And what about the Protean scientists? What happened scientists? to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel. But the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. That's very true. Let's Sarah's move out. Got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. Honestly, Liara, you're it right. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. So you can't tell me anything about Prothe- Oh, whatever. I just want to know what you guys look like. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. 2,781 XP for talking to Vigil. Let's get out of here. Guys, we have a chance of stopping this. Unbelievable how much exposition given us, uh, given to us there. I, I'm, I love it. Oh my God, I love it so much. So the Keepers were one of the, probably one of the All earliest culture. harvested All their advanced technology. cultures. And the Protheans were taken in by the Reapers just as we were. 
They failed. Just like my people. But they also gave us a chance to save ourselves. We must hurry. My people once tried to find this world. We'd hoped we could settle here. But we didn't know it would feel so unwelcome. We shouldn't be here. Not us. Not the Geth. Not Seren. I never dreamed I would actually find Ilos. But you I did. Wish I had more time to study all of this. Same. And so Sovereign, they, so the Protheans were, you know, kind of sacrificed their entire race, but they were able to stop a Reaper invasion. So the only thing stopping, the only thing that could potentially bring them back is Saren right now. That's crazy cool. This is why the lore of Mass Effect is so darn good. And let's kill some more death while we're at it. We'll also see that our journal has changed now. It is now Race Against Time Conduit. The conduit is not a weapon, but a back door into the Citadel, which is actually an enormous mass relay. Saren will use the conduit to get onto the Citadel and unlock it, ushering in a Reaper invasion that will destroy all organic life in the galaxy. And it is our job to prevent that from happening. Saren, my buddy guy, you're going down. And that is it. We cannot go back. Nothing else on Ilos. We are in this until we get to the conduit or stop Saren on the way. We have some more Geth coming in. Make sure we take them out as soon as we get over here. Take it down one as soon as we cross over. We'd love to see it. A Geth Colossus in the back. Even better, because that, my friends, is a lot of XP for us when we take down a Geth Colossus. It's also got a bunch of enemies by its foot here we can take out. Come on, Geth Colossus, go down, baby! Give me that 2,000 XP! Woo! You'll love to see it. 2K! Continuing on, we really only have one way we can go. I think there was also a Geth Juggernaut over there that we were able to destroy because we got a thousand XP. And I believe that's the only other Geth that would give a thousand XP at this point in time. Going through the highway, aqueducts, whatever these are of Ilos, the ancient Protheans. More rocket troopers await us. Killing them real quick. Continue on. Let's see how much XP we got. Almost 50,000. I don't know. It's going to be tight, friends. It's going to be real tight. Man, we have even more rocket troopers that we can take down. Look at how slow those rockets are. Slow pokes. Continuing along. Really wish we had some more Geth, Geth Colossus here. Go ahead and save our game. Continuing forward. We'll see some fire, it looks like. And from this position here, we can actually attack a Geth Colossus, which is exactly what we want to do because if we move forward at all, we will start a cutscene that will basically give us a very limited amount of time to do anything so we want to see if we can do some damage now see if we can take down this geth colossus this might be a little too far but we'll see we were able to take one down we can actually see the conduit in front of us but we don't we want to be super careful not to do anything else here if you go past this wall here do you see all of these stripes that's going to start the cutscene. So we want to see if we can take down the other Geth Colossus from right here. If you are super careful, you can see that the second one is actually right here. You can barely see it. Kind of just see the movement from it. And there we go. Got another one down. 
Like I said, it's super hard to see, but it is there. So that's two out of four Colossus that will be waiting for us right down there. And let's continue. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Here we go. One of the coolest cutscenes in the entire game. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? And just like that, Sovereign and the Geth fleet are attacking the Citadel. Saren has used the conduit to take control of Citadel control. This is not looking good. We have two more Geth Colossus in front of us, which, hey, that's 4,000 XP. But unfortunately, there is no possible way on Insanity difficulty that you can kill both of these before that 40 second time limit is up, or even just one of them, unfortunately. So we have to make it to this, to this ramp here. See if we can, we have 13 seconds left. We'll see if we can do anything here. 10 seconds. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to destroy this guy. But hey, it's there. It's something you could do on lower difficulties. We weren't able to do it. But we were able to get the Meritorious Service Medal. Would have loved that extra 4K XP, but can't get it. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. <laughs> is that the thing that they thought was just a memorial to a mass uh, to a city uh, a mass relay they thought it was a monument it's not it's a legit relay that's the conduit right there how awesome is that and we are on board the citadel this is why <laughs> now you know why i said we weren't going to be able to come back here because um well it's destroyed Anyways, we're going to immediately get attacked by some husks. We're going to go ahead and see if we can toss them out of here, which we will be able to do because we're awesome. Liara's going to be able to toss one, and we'll go ahead and lift this one up as well just so it gets out of here. We want to talk to Ambina and see what's going on. See if we can get this one over the roof. Please. There we go. Go ahead and toss this one even further and put this one into a singularity. Cool. The dragon's teeth letting those go. Let's go ahead and talk to Avina. The Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Yeah, I can see why. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class three fires are burning in sectors two, three, six, and seven. Civilian casualties are high. No. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. What happened to the council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is near in the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Come on! We need to stop Saren before it's too late! 
Which is exactly what we're going to do, my friends, in the final episode, the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, we are, it is, woo! Uh, it's spicy. The next episode, the one that premieres, if you're watching this when it premieres tomorrow, is the next episode. That's it. Mass Effect 1 is done. We're going to get a platinum trophy. It's going to be awesome. I, I thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, it's crazy cool what's going on. I love the I love that the monument to the mass relay was actually a mass relay. I just think it's so cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up. Never surrender to the Reapers in Dark Space. The next episode, guys, is the last one. It's the last one. Bye.